wanted to very quickly talk to you about your acting career. Okay. And just get, you know, a sense of... My career you, sounds like I don't have one yet. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? In, in the terms of... Like it is a career bad. before you're m making a lot of money, too. You know what I mean? Yes, I guess. And, <laughs> um, and so what I wanted, wanted to do was basically uh, figure out, you know, what's, what it takes. And, and I wanted to start with the idea of training. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk a little bit about... I think training is probably one of the most important things that you need to do and continue to do it. I think that a lot of people don't go to school and I think, you know, it's funny, I heard Ian McKellen speak about acting and he was very interesting in saying, you know, in England we have great directors and in America you have great teachers. Hmm. And so listening to that, you know, it's interesting, you know, to, to act by doing and to have constantly doing and he grew up kind of on the stage and with directors and I can understand that and appreciate that and I, he's clearly amazing. So I think that that's important. I think, for me at least, what's worked is to have uh, something to fall on when you are like, what do you do with this? And you have a certain series of steps to go through every time you work on a character or even some small thing. And I definitely think actual doing it is so important. You can't sit in a class all the time either. You need to be doing stuff. But I, uh, for me at least, it's worked to always be coaching or in a class or honing what we do because I, I really don't think you you stop growing and I think every day that you work on your craft you're going to get better and you see that with actors all the time even the greats their work has only gotten better even from the people who are just great from the very beginning you hope that you're going to get better but does it teach you how to work with people does, does, does training teach you how to work with people? You work with different directors. I remember on, on set once when I was trying to tell you something, you said, no, 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 don't tell me how to do it. Just right. tell me what you want done. Yes. Um, and I'm sure you run into other directors. And I was surprised when you said in L.A. you ran into a situation where the actors didn't know what to do and were sort of guided step by step mm -hmm. through everything. It's a interesting to see um, how different people obviously work and I, I did work on something where I was really surprised to see an actor comfortable with the director literally physically showing everything that they wanted them to do saying it doing it put your head like this do that move your hand I mean that was a very new thing for me to see I've never in my life saw something like that and I haven't seen it since then actually <laughs> but um and they were okay with it and it seemed to work and they were good and that's fine you know I guess that works for them but you know in terms of keeping it organic it's it's hard to I know sometimes people can't find the right words and they can't find the right kind of way to, to explain something so they end up just just like this and they'll do it you know and that's just easier I think but I think it's really important to have directors that know what the process is that actors go through so that they can hopefully find the right thing to say and that is not easy I mean I've worked with some very well-known directors and some not so whatever the case maybe everyone's different and it's always hard to find the right thing to say and have you been exposed to now I think the other the new thing that actors are having to deal with a lot is the idea of working on, on a green screen if you will if you, mm -hmm. you know in, in, in the context of having a green screen or working with effects where a lot of the stuff isn't there Right. It just isn't there. You're standing in front of a green screen and you're, and you're talking with this character that doesn't exist. Yes. Um, and it's going to be composited in post. You know, I've, I haven't worked with special effects, but I've actually worked with that on movies where the actor isn't there. So <laughs> it's kind of funny, you know, working on small films and people have to leave and this and that and you want to tear your hair out. It's not their fault. People knew their schedules and it just got late and there's nothing they can do and they've had to leave and I'm literally speaking to a person that has no given me nothing or a reader who's like da, 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 with their book in front of them and it's like this insanely emotional scene or whatever so yeah you have to create it in whatever so whether it's an effect or it's a scene you hope ideally that that doesn't happen and you always work with people and things that are giving you something but that doesn't happen even with people even if it's not an effect movie it happens where you're just not lucky enough to have the actual person there. <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of let's say an acting exercise that might help you, I mean, w what tools, you know, do you use or do you still even use any of the stuff yeah, you did in your acting I, class? Yeah, I would, I would fall on my face, I mean, I might still be falling on my face, I don't know, but at least I feel like I have some control over what I'm doing. Yeah, I have to use it. I mean, there's certain things, and I remember my teachers telling me this when I was in school, 
which makes sense now because it's been some time, is that there will be certain emotions and certain behaviors that will start to just be there because you've done it for so long and they're right there. And there'll be some that you always have to work for. And I've learned that sometimes it's easier for me and I don't need to do a lot of work to get to a certain place for some things because I've done it enough and I just have one trigger and it's there. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I really need to do the work where I'm at home and really do my homework, the stuff that I did in school and like plotting it out, doing, you know, point by point. And, you know, I studied at Strasbourg, so it's very method based and all of those tools, I really, yeah, I sit down and do it. I do the, I sit there and then go through all those exercises. So there's a lot to the craft of acting. I mean, oh, yeah. and, and, and there's, you know, you're continually growing, even as you're working, you, you <laughs> pick up things from different actors. What about the business of acting? I mean, mm -hmm. how you now you moved out to L.A. and, mm -hmm. you know, auditioning. What do you feel about it, auditioning? So different in L.A. than it is in New York. And I remember people telling me that before I left, and I remember people telling me that when I went to L.A., how different it would be. And it's sad that it's so different, in my opinion, because it shouldn't be so different. I think it should be about the work, obviously, in my ideal sense, and you should be able to go in there and do that. But unfortunately, I think um, it's just a different... I think... Um, I don't know really how to explain it. It's a, it's a sensibility, and I think that um, LA has taught me a lot about the business, which I wouldn't have thought about before. And I think that being exposed to people that maybe have more film in their life and TV than theater—not that there's not great theater there—is a different brings a different thing to the table. And I, I feel very fortunate to have come with a little bit more theater background because I do think that acting wise theater is really one of the purest places to really exercise that whereas I think TV is more of a writer's medium and film is more of a director's medium I think the theater is really about the actor more so than anything if that's even possible and so it's it's trying to negotiate all that and I think you know I come to New York and I audition here and it's always different for me again you know and now it's 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 kind of it I don't know I haven't figured it out <laughs> and I don't get you know most of the stuff that I audition for so I don't really know <laughs> I have been fortunate enough to um, had an agent for a while I've switched agents you know here and there um, but you know they really need to get you and I think the most important thing is is not like which agency you're at or you know what the name is or whatever the case may be it's really about the specific person seeing you for the work that you can do and seeing the direction of what you would like your career to take you to be the same as yours and I have come into a lot of kind of hitting heads with certain people that don't get what I'm about and unfortunately haven't been able to, to work with a lot of people just because they're just in a, they just think about things differently and I'm probably wrong and I'm probably making things more difficult for me but I know for myself I'm not gonna be I need to be able to sleep at night I need to know what I'm doing is what it, it for me where it comes from and stays pure to that and it's been hard it's I struggle all the time with it I still struggle with it and um, I don't think I'm gonna stop just being where I who I am and coming from where I come and looking the way I look I think I'll always struggle with it well let's get past the struggle <laughs> For a moment, for a moment, okay. imagine if you will, uh -huh. your oh, perfect wow. dream project. Uh -huh. Who would you have as the cast members? Who would you have as a writer, as a director? Do you have any, any um, or, and the genre of the film? I, I don't, I mean, and I hate sounding like this, but I really love so many different types of things. That, I mean, I can just throw out some names of people that I like, you know, that at some point would be so lucky if I ever worked with them. You know, I just had the opportunity to work with Albert Brooks, mm -hmm. which to me, I mean, he's a legend. And to have him so early in my life, I feel, hopefully if I have more of a career, has been such a gift because he is one of the, the, the few, not that I know lots of famous people, but people that really have kept it about the work. And working with him and the way he works and the way he directs was so inspiring, really, that when I, every time I'm frustrated or this or that, and I think about his career, and we talked a lot about kind of where he's come from and the experiences he's had and listening to his stories, was like, okay, relax, it's okay, it's going to be fine. Albert Brooks said that, or he did that, or he went through this, or whatever the case may be, you know, um, it's going to be okay. You know, it's one of those things where just remembering what's important and not trying to get caught up in the good or the bad. It's really about filtering all of that stuff outside of you that are 
telling you things that don't matter, good or bad, and just about keeping true to what's important to you. And that's going to be different for everybody. Uh, it, it is a journey for everybody, and everybody does have a different yeah. journey, but everybody does have it, and everybody yes. does have, have all, has all of these components in it, the yeah. struggle, the, you know, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. But wishing you a, a oh. very happy journey. Thank you. I and, hope so. I <laughs> uh, hope to see you in a lot more films. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.